How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Prime Energon and today I finally found myself a Studio Series 110 Bumblebee movie Shockwave. Now this is a fantastic character. This is a big character. This is Voyager class but he is a big Voyager class which is what I like to see almost to where he's too big for this box. So first and foremost thank you guys for joining me here on prime energon if you're new here consider subscribing i would really appreciate it we're trying to build up the channel here and get some subscribers here so first and foremost let's take a look at the packaging so nice artwork of shockwave on the front here transformers bumblebee movie now he was only in the movie for like not even a second or two and here it is on the side here he is a voyager class so that is quite nice to see some more nice artwork and some more artwork over here now on the top you get bumblebee transformers uh bumblebee stuff at the bottom and here is the back with some nice images of him in alt mode and in robot mode so that's very very nice shockwave commands the seekers to destroy the launch pad so very very nice for the packaging so taking a look at shockwave right here in all of his glory very nicely built guy here he is big all the joints are nice and tight he is solid like everything on here is very nicely done there are no loose pieces everything sort of articulates kind of weird things are on ratchets when i don't know why they should be on ratchets but we're going to talk about that but going on over to the details love the head sculpt with that one eye in the middle kind of wish there was a little bit more better light piping uh, there's very little on there, but not much when it comes down to the light piping. You can see right there, there's very little light piping. They could have done a little bit better with that, but it's there if you want it. Take a look at the chest piece. Some nice detail with some weathering and some battle damage on here. Some scratches actually looks pretty good. Nice transparent chest piece with some purple transparent plastic on there. Looks really, really nice. Taking a look at the arms again with that weathering and that battle damage looks really good. Some nice molded in detail with all of this detail right here. You get some gold right here on the upper arm and right here on this little part right there. Some silver, some gunmetal, some purple. Very nicely done. Some more paint over here with this silver striping. Taking a look at the hands and the inside of the arms very nicely done taking a look at the chest some more detail right here on the inside looks really really good and his blaster over here which can be removed again looking very nice with that detail some nice silver and purple just looking really really good for his arm blaster you can remove this which we will do during transformation and now he has two hands which is pretty cool you have that option if you want it you got it taking a look at the legs nicely done again more of that weathering right there nice detail on how everything looks on here look at that nicely done a lot of intricate detail on there he looks good for a voyager class i'm telling you some more detail right here along the bottom of the leg and the feet looking really really nice as well little bit hollow on the bottom but that's quite all right and the back of this guy cleans up really nicely considering he just is pretty much folded up into alt mode so there's not really much to hide over here but very nicely done a lot of detail on that back area no kibble whatsoever and taking a look at the bottom of the legs and there you go very nicely done i do appreciate this guy I love the purple on here. It's the perfect purple on here for Shockwave. And as far as the rifle goes, here is his blaster. And it just pretty much snaps onto this port right here. And it'll pretty much go over the hand. And just like so. And this peg is going to be for alt mode for the uh, alt mode. So as far as articulation goes, we'll go ahead and keep the arm off head can go all the way around full 360 there is not much movement of the head to go up or down or sideways so that's kind of a shame could would have liked to seen a little bit more of that arms can go all the way around 
they can't go all the way out that far they're on a ratchet which is strange it's nice but it's just strange that that's on a ratchet you get 90 degree bend at the bicep but you do not get a bicep rotation no bicep rotation on here you do get a forearm rotation but that's a little bit lower so i guess due to transformation they couldn't in they couldn't put a bicep rotate on there which is kind of dumb you get a waist rotation which is a little bit lower down right there and as far as the legs they can kick forward that much and kick all the way out and kick all the way to the side you do get some very nice ankle uh pivot right there and a little bit of ankle tiltage before it starts hitting the side so a little bit more ankle tiltage would have been nice you get upper thigh rotation and then you get lower knee rotation which is just above the knee legs can bend just about 90 degrees on that front so yeah very nicely articulated i just don't like how the arms are you have a rotation on the forearm but you don't get a rotation on the bicep it's kind of weird kind of weird you also get the hose right here which is made out of a nice rubber it's going to plug into the back of his shoulder and plug into the side of his arm cannon and then that will just go right into his hand just like so and plug in just like that and now he has his arm cannon so as far as comparisons go here we got the dark and the moon nicely done shockwave over here so a different version of them same coloring this is a knockoff of course but still you get an idea of the size of this guy so very nice to that got the transformers bumblebee concept art megatron so this guy is boss and there you go as far as how they stack up together i will be posing these together on my shelf just because shockwave is megatron's right hand man here we got the cybertron universe star scream when it comes down to sizing so there you go he's a bit taller than star scream and here we got the transformers rise of the beast optimus prime again another voyager class so definitely a little bit taller than optimus prime when it comes down to the size of this guy so he is a big voyager class and i love to see it so as far as transformation so he is pretty simple to transform all he does is pretty much fold in on himself uh you're gonna want to lock in the knees which they do have a little soft click on them and then uh you're gonna want to remove the arm cannon and just have that flopping around on the side you can't remove the hose if it gets in the way and we'll just throw that over there so the arms are pretty much going to rotate so the arms are pretty much going to rotate you're going to have them facing like this you're going to rotate them backwards and they're just going to snap into place just like so you're going to want to knock in the hands so just flick them in they are on ball joints which I forgot to mention, you do have rotation at the hands. Oops, sorry about that. And then you're going to rotate right here at the arm. All the way back. Lock that into place. Flip the hand in. And close this hatch back up. And you're going to end up with something along the lines of that. And you're going to want to pretty much swing the arms backwards. You're going to get this tab that's going to go right into that slot lock that into place and you're going to end up with something along the lines of this wicked re right here you're going to open up his chest just like so and all of this is going to accordion out like that you're going to knock his head in it's going to go in just like that and then now for the legs you're going to want to make sure that they are completely straight you're going to lift this part up and rotate this around Push that back down and flick the feet back lift this up rotate it and that's pretty much exposing the tank treads flick in the foot and then as far as that goes now we could go ahead and bring this whole piece and it'll doop forward with a nice little click 
and it's a nice soft click to where it will stoop on forward now as far as the legs go you are going to break them right here at the hips and they will come up like that do the same thing over here bring this up and snap it and now we could bring the front of the chest mode continue to bring that on down as far as it goes you're going to want to bring this piece in and you're going to get this little tap it's going to go right into that little notch right there to lock that into place just like that and then now you're going to want to align these pegs right into these holes on the side of the knees and all of that should line up perfectly and there you go for that now we are pretty much in the home stretch and you're going to end up with this now what you can do is bring the arm cannon up extend this forward as far as it can go just like that bring down this port which is a little hard to get to and then this is going to snap right into that hole up top just like so to create the turret and we can go ahead and bring this hose piece and plug it in to the side of the gun and there you go for his tank mode does have wheels actually rose pretty good now here we get a close-up detail now i like i said earlier he pretty much just folds into tank mode not very intricate when it comes down to the complexity of this transformation uh, the turret can move from side to side and up and down so that is pretty cool that you get that movement but as far as the tank mode not very complex there he is at the bottom and you do have little wheels on there so that's fantastic and yeah not very complex not too much to be desired here for this tank mode it is pretty much an afterthought but you got it if you want it so there you go for transformation so here he is next to the dark of the moon monstrosity of a tank mode and pretty much a similar design or not the similar design but the similar concept of them just folding in half and yeah here we go although i would say that the dark moon does look a little bit more intricate and a little bit more detail especially with these thrusters on the back side but there you go as far as size goes and the new shockwave when it comes down to the old shockwave so yeah there you go for comparison very nicely done simple transformation I, some people might say it's a little bit too simple but there you go for the comparison so there you go for my review of the transformers 110 bumblebee movie shockwave voyager class definitely like his robot mode more than his tank mode just because he looks the part and looks awesome this is just an afterthought kind of thing and i it is not really too much to be desired here for this alt mode so definitely will be posting them or po put them on my shelf in robot mode so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and i will see you next time here on prime energon peace